Oh, yeah, pretty uh, heavy cloud up there. We had a heavy, heavy rain last night, and um, we may be having some more soon. I don't know. Just popped out to get some quick uh, groceries. Uh, chicken for the dogs as well. That's run out. And uh, I'm just waiting for Joe at the minute, but I uh, was just looking at the clouds up here. Um, hopefully, we will avoid getting wet. We've got to collect some rice and things in the bucket of pickup after as well. Anyway, that's what's on the cards at the minute. All right, shopping done. We've decided to have some food in the food court. It's very quiet today, um, possibly because of the COVID restrictions and what have you. I've got myself a hard cup of kai a little bit of chili in it extra. And Joe's gone to get her food now. And then we will be heading up to the house to um, leave food for the doggies there and to get some, uh, to collect some rice that we need to take to mill. Yeah. Right, we are at the house and um, yeah, nice to see the doggies. I, um, we don't get here very often nowadays and I've been missing my doggies so we brought them some bones. We've come to collect rice. So you've got six sacks of rice and a sack of rice bran which insects have been eating. That rice bran has been there far too long so we should have um, taken it to the farm before now. To show you our trees here. Frangipani, Lilawadi. Looking really nice now. Absolutely beautiful this time of the year. Um, anyway, just found out that the pump's not working here, the water pump for the house. So uh, I've tried to uh, look at that, but it looks like it needs replacing. So I'm uh, going to wait and speak to Joe's niece, who um, takes care of the dogs in the house for us, what she has to say. But um, it's been switched off, so I think it's, I think it's um, had its day. Anyway, these two are happy. They've got their bones. And we're going to head back to the farm in a little while. Alright, uh, this is the pump. It's here, actually, under the stairs. It's a bit of a run down old room at the back of the house, under the stairs, full of old house pipes. And this is where the dogs come and shelter when it rains really hard. But um, yeah, there's the pump. It um, seems to be. Uh, seems to be a bit a bit broken so not sure really what to do I'm gonna check it out on the internet as well uh, see if we can get some make some sense we've got some lovely mangoes here Joe's gonna pick some she said look at these little beauties and here's don't mind hey don't mind I don't mind don't mind <laughs> I don't know, my, she's my baby. She's not a baby anymore though, are you? Four and a half years old now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't my, don't my. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. This tree has a lot of mangoes. A lot of mangoes falling. So I'll jump pick them. Any that's eatable, edible, she'll eat, but probably just give them to the fish. Shame. Some nice mangoes in this tree, no? I've just had a massage on my neck and shoulders, back. Um, my sister-in-law is a uh, massage therapist that uh, worked at the hospital before, but she's full-time uh, working on the f uh, farm at the minute. But um, it's very good, and uh, Jao's getting massaged at the minute. So uh, that's nice. I've been having a lot of trouble with my neck and my back. I think sitting at a computer working and then I don't have the right posture and of course I'm hopeless with the pillows and sleeping. I constantly changing and changing, I'm never comfortable. So 
that's what I've been doing today. I mean, part of the whole day, obviously. Uh, I'm working in a minute, but I just took time out for that. So uh, I did have such a headache afterwards because uh, I think it's all tension in the back of my neck, but now it's a lot better. So um, yeah, can't be beaten. Good morning, Friday morning. Uh, rained again in the night. So now I am going over to, hopefully, rainwater. The the tanks are full. I've just um, filled uh, the tanks with the um, municipal water to make sure we've got, starting off with a full supply. I'm washing, so that will use up uh, a bit from the tanks. But, um, yeah, I think uh, now that the roof's had a, a few downpours to clean off, the water will be clean. And uh, we will start using rainwater. And we use rainwater last year during the rainy season and it was great it was um, refreshing uh, nice for having a shower and so on so uh, yeah works fine and uh, obviously you know i mean water isn't expensive here. the water at the house we pay next to nothing like a uh, hundred baht a month or something but um here um you know Rainwater is plentiful at this time of year, so we might as well use it. Anyway, we're just doing some chores now. Uh, it'll soon be time for work. It's Friday. Tomorrow is the 1st of May, which is a holiday, so I'm only going to work until about um, midday in Sweden, which will be um, 5 o'clock here, and then that's me for the weekend. So we shall see if there comes any more rain today. Okay, Friday night, and um, we've come out to get something to eat, but um, there's no eating in now in the evening. So um, we've just come to Burger King, and uh, we're going to get a hamburger and um, eat it in the car, out there, in the car park. Jam's waiting in the car. Uh, yeah, because of COVID restrictions, we... Um, there's no eating in, so everywhere is very quiet. It's about 8 o'clock. Normally this place would be bouncing around here. This is UD town, but um, hardly a person to be seen. So uh, that's how it is. Friday night in UD town. Well, it could be worse. Picnic. Friday night picnic. Okay, well. <laughs> picnic, picnic. Hey, we are in Big C. Just been uh, doing some grocery shopping. Didn't need to. Um, didn't need to show you that. Now we're going to go to the fruit market and buy maize and what have you. Usual sort of stuff. And try and get some lunch maybe. Okay, we're going to have a quick tea as well. A nice tea before we go. And uh, 18, you've seen this place before, very good actually, Eight, only 18 baht for a, a nice lemon tea. Okay, um, as ever, the tea in the uh, Panda 18 is uh, is really good. So uh, I'm drinking my tea, waiting for Joe, she is now in looking for, um, excuse me, she is now in looking for uh, corn for the pigs. And um, after that, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but um, it's rain. It's been raining, and it's forecast to rain heavy later on. So um, I expect we'll be rushing up back to the farm. But I did want to go and get some lunch somewhere. But we shall see what the day brings. It is Saturday, so I've no rush to get back to go to work. So um, we'll see where we get. But I'm drinking my tea, and it's very good. Okay. It's Time for lunch. We came to this place a couple of weeks ago. It was very good. Gai Yang Khao Tong Kwang. So that's what we're eating. And sticky rice. Some town, my favorite. Right, good lunch. Taos was too spicy for us, as usual. But uh, yeah, very nice. So now we will head home. I'm starting to feel tired. So uh, could do with a bit of a rest. Okay, so we're back from our shopping expedition and lunch and what have you. Feeling a bit tired um, now, so I'm going to have a rest. It's uh, raining as you might be able to hear, so uh, temperature is rather nice and pleasant inside now. So uh, 
think I'm gonna have a bit of a shot eye and then um, we shall see. Right, good morning, it's Sunday morning and um, I haven't been feeling well since yesterday lunchtime. After we had our lunch at the um, grilled chicken place, I uh, took a bit of a downturn. So I've been uh, resting and not doing much at all. Anyway, um, Jana's very busy though. She is building a, a thing to store pig manure and my dogs think I'm an imposter. <laughs> Here they come. Yeah, only me, it's only me, it's only me. Um, so just down there, busily building away, somewhere to store uh, her <laughs> uh, pig manure so it can be used for fertilizing. What have you? And my doggies are going to go back to sleep, I expect. There we are, sleeping underneath the. Uh, underneath the shelter here, which is all the thing now, which is looking rather ramshackle, but uh, absolutely covered with uh, passion fruit now, so soon it'll be like a, a passion fruit um, roof on there. Anyway, that's about it for Sunday at the minute. Okay, Monday lunchtime, and uh, as you can see, I'm rather sweaty. I've been uh, helping Jo finish off her pig uh, pig manure uh, storage facility <laughs> that she's been building meow and um, now it's time for work but I've got to go and get some ice and some drink from the, from up the village it is so hot 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 uh, and um, I'm going to take the moped for a bit of a spin because uh, that would be nice and cool or cooler the car is absolutely boiling I mean I I could put the aircon on and let it cool for 10 minutes before I go, but I want to get up there now because it's time for work. So I'm going to do that, and then uh, I might try and get a video edited. Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday, the 4th of May. And um, the big pigs are ready, or at least some of them, I think. So somebody's come to collect. They all weighed and uh, in the back of the pickup, just having a shower now they're all a bit hot and distressed. And then they will be off. And we moved some of the other ones now so that they've got more room. <laughs> so there you have it, the first five pigs, uh, the big pigs, they're now being sold off to market. Um, I think. We learnt a little lesson there that we were a bit premature. Jo said she wanted them to come and look at them, see whether they would. She didn't realise that they would want to buy them right away. Um, I think personally they should have waited another two weeks, but there you go. They were um, they were around the 85 kilo mark. No, they weren't. They were around the 80 kilo mark, and um, we could have done with them being a little bit bigger. For um, 
yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm telling you stories. 84 kilos, roughly, 83, 84. Um, but we could have done with them being another five kilos apiece. And we really should have waited another two weeks. But uh, that's the way it goes. We've learned something new. We've got the other 12. Um, they are still a ways off yet, about six weeks probably. Um, if we're going to uh, keep them till um, the full four months, then probably another seven weeks. Um, but hopefully now they will get a chance to uh, to grow now that they've been separated because some of them weren't um, getting a chance to feed because there's too many and the weak ones were getting pushed out to the back. So it's all a learning curve with the pigs, but um, you know, I don't think we're going to do any more pigs after this 12. Uh, but you know, you don't know until you try things. So um, we give it a try and um, next will be something else I expect or next year. But anyway, we shall see. Right, I'm off down to um, another farm of Jowers, which is down the lane opposite the end of our fence, which I've shown you before where they put up a, a sign at the end of the lane and they've just concreted the first 100 metres of it. But the rest of it looks like this. Anyway, the... Um, we were down this way um, the other week. We came to a party. Now this guy's going to get run over if he doesn't look where he's going. Um, we were down this way a few weeks ago. We came to a party at the crack of dawn down here. Um, but now we're going to go down to see um, how it's going down on this other farm of ours. Oh, Jones. Um, basically, um, she's having a pool dug down there. I don't know whether they're digging today or not, but um, we shall have a look. They were preparing anyway by um, clearing the area that's going to be dug from trees and what have you. Uh, and also her brother-in-law, no, my brother-in-law, her brother is down here uh, and company are down here um, planting rice. Throw, throwing out the rice ready for oh god it's so I hate this lane um, planting the rice ready for, well, ready for the rice season um, so it's all steam ahead on the rice plant in front at the minute um, now this lane can be uh, it's not bad at the minute actually but it can, sometimes it can be really really bad with potholes and um, yeah it's a bit of a nightmare Anyway, it's a bit of a nasty sound. I don't know what I pulled along there. Anyway, <clears throat> I shall show you when I get there. I managed to get down the lane. It was a bit um, deep sand, and I'm uh, don't have four-wheel drive on this pickup, but uh, these lorries don't make it any easier. But they're digging out the pool, which is down that way. Anyway, we're going to go down and have a look. Uh, in a minute. Well, these are all the the paddies being prepared for the rice. Um, I did a video on um, rice harvesting in Udantani. I'll try and uh, remember to put a link up. And uh, a lot of that was filmed here, right down there somewhere. All these are uh, Jow's fields. But, um, my brothers farming them and we just uh, take some of the rice. Anyway, have a look at this. Here is the excavation, the pool. Let's have a look. Well, it's going to come all the way up to here and then all the way over to there. So, yeah, one cow. Good day, one cow. Or one now. Okay, so um, back to the pool, yeah. This is the whole big dugout. Obviously, as you can see, it was quite thick scrub jungle, huh? but it's all being dug out and smoothed around, and um, it'll be a decent size when it's done. And we've got some more forest left there. Right. 
So the digger's just gone. We've just walked in through the other way, the way the, uh, the trucks are coming up. And um, there is an old pool, a small pool here, which is going to be filled in then once everything's done. So it'll all be flattened off here where Joe is down there by that pool. So that's what's going on at Nadongoy. Right, back to the farmhouse. Right, it's all a bit late, 25 past nine, and we haven't eaten yet, we just come in. Um, we have grilled some pork, cheek, neck, whatever it's called. And I've got some um, mango and sticky rice, called Nyamon Mwang. John's got me a key. And she's got sticky rice, we do it over there as well. So um, we are going to eat dinner. It is one minute to ten, just eaten, absolutely stuffed. It's had a good day, so uh, I'm now going to chill out a bit and get a bit tired.